Thank you for selecting an Infratech solid state control package with features like zone heating, infinite heat intensity control, and integrated timer function, solid state controls offer ease of use that's configured to meet the needs of any large scale commercial space, from restaurants and nightclubs to stadiums and resorts. In our Choosing a Location video, we show you how to select the ideal placement for the solid state main relay panel and zone analog controller with timer. Now, let's review how to install and troubleshoot our solid state control package. Like all Infratech heaters and controls, installation should only be done by a licensed electrician. Before installing or servicing any Infratech equipment, you'll need to disconnect all power at the main feed. Now let's begin by referring to the wiring diagram that came with this product. It reflects the exact configuration you ordered. You can also find a sample wiring diagram on Infratech's technical support site or on the brochures and specs page under the resource tab. All Infratech custom controls are configured in a similar fashion. Bring the main feed for all the heaters that this panel will control to the main distribution block. The amperage of your main feed will be specified on the drawing. Next, connect the heaters to the circuit breaker. They will be labeled H1, H2, H3, and H4. Be sure to connect the appropriate heaters to the breakers specified. Once the main feed is connected to the main distribution block and the high voltage line is connected to the heaters, connect the zone analog controller with timer. The zone analog controller with timer will require one amp of 110 volt AC. This is typically taken from a local lighting or power circuit. Start by connecting one amp of 110 volt AC to the black and the white, then connect the green to the ground. Next, connect the control signal to the control terminal strip in the upper right hand corner of the control panel. For example, 1A, 1B, etc. Your custom control configuration will determine exactly where to land. You can refer to your wiring diagram for guidance. Your installation is complete once all of the low voltage signals are connected. To verify a successful installation, check the zone analog controller's output. You should be getting a 0 to 11 volt DC signal. Also, double check to ensure the polarity is correct by verifying that you have positive XA, negative XB. If everything checks out, you're all set. The heaters are now ready to operate. In the event that you experience issues with installation, we're here to help. We provide a flow chart to assist you with troubleshooting. You should always refer to this first. Now let's walk you through some simple troubleshooting steps. Before you begin, please note, when you're taking readings, they should all be line to line, not line to ground. In addition, all readings should be taken with the heaters installed and a control signal of 100%. Let's begin. First, check to see if there is main feed AC voltage at the distribution block. Next, is the 11 volt DC control signal present between XA and XB? Please note that the X represents the solid state relay number associated with the terminals. You should see a green indicator light on each active relay. Now check to see if there is main feed AC voltage at the output of the breakers. You'll need to take measurements between H1, H2, etc. You'll see this at the bottom of the panel. Verify if the heater is pulling the specified amperage. You'll need to take the reading using an amp clamp at the output of the breaker associated with the heater. You can find this at the bottom of the panel. If you've gone through each of these steps and are still having issues with low heat or no heat, please contact the Infratech technical support team. We're standing by to help. We hope we've given you the information you need for a seamless installation. If you still have questions, please contact us. You can also visit our technical support page for more troubleshooting tips, wiring diagrams, or to access our online customer service portal.